am lucky and I got tagged by the awesome Heavy Metal Gamer Show. He's a great guy with an epic channel. Be sure to check him out in the comments down below. Before I get started, I'm going to tag some other peeps to do this tag video. Starting off with Zombie Ragdoll. I have talked about him before. He is awesome saucy. Mount Granik. He just started doing YouTube. He has a Diablo 3 video up at the moment. Also tagging L1 Games, Gilly the Kid, Ace Boggs Gaming, Terry's Tech, and Buried Under Clichés. I will link all of these YouTubers down below. So on with the tags. These are all games that have been nostalgic for me throughout my gaming life. Number 5, Anarchy Online, a Funcom MMORPG that I played for many years. I have met a ton of my current friends from this game. I still play it on and off, and I feel like this game is a part of who I am today. I can play my older brother Tots for this addiction. I recommend this game to everyone. It is awesome and amazing and one of the best games I have ever played. An awesome thing about this game is you can play as a free player, and you could also play as a paid player, in which both experiences are fun and both enjoyable in my opinion so I totally recommend you to go download this game right now. Number 4, Animal Crossing for the GameCube. This fun little game is what started my Animal Crossing addiction. I love everything about it, including how time-consuming it can be. This game is a game that got me addicted to the GameCube. It is a casual game for the cutie and all of us. I love that it's lighthearted and semi-challenging, and I recommend it to everybody and everyone. It's a must. Number 3, Super Mario Bros. 3, a game I grew up playing my whole childhood with my younger brother, and later in life I found out it was a game me and my older brother could enjoy together. It's a classic that will remain one of my faves for many years to come, even though I suck at it. Yes, I die pretty much every single level. I can play this game a million times, and I never get bored of it. It is just that much fun, and I think everybody has a heart for Mario. Number 2, The Addams Family for the Sega Genesis. This is one of the few games on the Sega that I can say I beat. Granted, it took many hours and weeks, and it's the most challenging game of my childhood. The one thing that rocked was the passwords you would get after beating the boss levels. I used to make my dad beat the bosses after I would beat the levels because I would panic at the boss stages. I still panic at boss stages to this day. But anyway, this game is one of my favorites because I have so many memories playing it while listening to ACDC and Metallica because my dad got sick of the soundtrack which got me into metal, so I ain't gonna complain. It is such a fun game with a great story and I recommend it to everyone, even those who are not fans of the Addams Family. Number 1, Pokemon Blue, the game that got me hooked on trying to catch them all. This game holds a big place in my heart. I used to trade Pokemon with my younger brother, nothing beats the cable trading. Still to this day, I always go for the grass Pokemon as my starter Pokemon. This game is a classic and will forever be my first Pokemon love. Aww. If you haven't played a Pokemon game, I suggest you stop what you are doing and totally go buy one because you are missing out on one of the most nostalgic games of my childhood. And so, what are some of your most nostalgic games? Thanks for watching. As always, be nice and keep gaming. If you haven't already subscribed, totally do it and like this video because you rock.